Let's begin the broadcast with breaking updates coming in. In the latest update in the Chhattisgarh PDS scam, the Enforcement Directorate has filed an affidavit with the Supreme Court in which some shocking revelations have come to the fore. Two senior bureaucrats who are accused in the Chhattisgarh PDS scam were in touch with the High Court judge who granted bail to Shukla in October 2019. Let's uh, go across to senior news editor Bhavtosh Singh joining us on the broadcast with the details. Bhavtosh, these are some sensational claims. The enforcement directorate telling the court uh, that two of these bureaucrats were in touch with the high court judge who had granted bail to Shukla. What are the details? Well, uh, uh, Pratima, as far as this uh, affidavit is concerned, this affidavit was filed uh, on 1st of August uh, by the enforcement directorate. And uh, this affidavit was filed in the Supreme Court uh, in the LSP. Kate has said it's very uh, explosive and uh, shocking. Uh, they had said that then uh, the then uh, Educate uh, General of the uh, Chhattisgarh government had tried to influence and scuttle the trial uh, in the PDS camp. What he had said is that an attempt was made uh, to, uh, in fact, uh, influence uh, the entire trial and that he was in directly in touch with uh, some judges. And this was done uh, to, uh, in fact, in directly influence uh, this, uh, this entire trial. Now, ED had tried to, in fact, uh, produce some evidence in this uh, in, uh, to support their claim. They had some WhatsApp chats to, uh, to in fact, corroborate uh, their allegations. Uh, all these uh, chats are, in fact, part of the evidence. Now, what they had said is that both the accused in this case, Anil uh, Tuteja as well as uh, Shukla, who are out on bail, managed to get only because of the fact that uh, then Educate General was in direct touch with one of the judges. Now, this is the claim of the enforcement directorate. Uh, so far, we have only uh, the claim of the enforcement directly, but ED has said that they had done their uh, due diligence and their own investigation to support uh, what they had said. But remember, the enforcement directly has been proving the previous scam which happened in the Bhupesh Maghain's uh, uh, government tenure, and uh, ED claims that this is worth at least 10,000 crore rupees. They claim that Anil Toteja was one of the close confidant of Pupesh Padel. He uh, was one of the persons who was one of the mastermind as far as the LSPD scam is concerned. He and um, Mr. Shukla were, uh, were uh, accused in this case. When they were taken into custody by the enforcement directorate, uh, they in fact managed to get because uh, uh, then uh, judicial officers of Pupesh Padel government were, uh, man uh, they in fact managed to get with uh, managed to get in touch with uh, with the trial court judges and ED has now managed to extract uh, WhatsApp chats and they have now produced these WhatsApp chats in the court in the Supreme Court. One has to wait and see what happens next in the court. But uh, these explosive claims have been made by the enforcement arcade, which has now uh, submitted this affidavit in the Supreme Court. Okay, so the affidavit does not really name the judge in question, but it has several WhatsApp. Uh chats that have also been mentioned in the affidavit. Bhavtosh request you to stay on with us. Let's go across to Ankit for the details in the affidavit mentioned by the ED. I'm going to read the relevant page, Pratibha. This is the affidavit. It says, I say that the accused through the then Advocate General of the state were in touch with the Honorable Judge of the Honorable Chhattisgarh High Court who had granted anticipatory bail to accused Alok Shukla on uh, this date in the scheduled offence. I say that one of the accused, Mr. Anil Kumar Tuteja, IAS, was in touch with the Honorable Judge through uh, Satish Chandra Varma, the then Advocate General for the state of Chhattisgarh, as is evident from various WhatsApp messages dated between so-and-so dates the WhatsApp messages exchange has revealed that the bio data of the daughter and the son-in-law of the judge were sent to Mr. Anil Kumar Tuteja for favorable action by the then Advocate General of the State of Chhattisgarh, who has been liaisoning between the judge and both the prime accused Anil Tuteja and Alok Shukla. True type copy of relevant excerpts of the WhatsApp chats are annexed here. With So that's what it says. So it has submitted this and also the annexures. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, going back to Bhavtosh for that, Bhavtosh, the ED has also claimed that the two bureaucrats in the then uh, Baghel-led Congress government were also tampering with the evidence to dilute the case against them. Uh, yes, Pratima, in fact, uh, this is a very serious charge that ED has uh, leveled. Remember, both uh, Tuteja as well as Shukla were under scanner of uh, the enforcement directorate in several cases. In fact, Mr. Uh, Tuteja uh, was also proved by the enforcement directorate in the LH Lakers camp. Uh, uh, Tuteja was uh, recently arrested by the UPSTF uh, uh, in the liquor scam, uh, in the alleged uh, tampering of the of the holo hologram as far as uh, the case is concerned. The liquor scam is also being proved by the enforcement directorate. Uh, the proof in that case was stopped by the, info, uh, by the 
Supreme Court claiming that the predicate offense itself uh, is not uh, substantial. Then uh, UPSTF also filed a case and he was uh, recently arrested by the UPSTF. Uh, he is uh, said to be very close to Bhupesh Paghel, but uh, as far as the PDS scam is concerned, now this is a very serious charge that has been leveled by the Enforcement Directorate. Now Enforcement Directorate for the first time is claiming that the uh, Advocate General was directly uh, in touch with the trial court judge and uh, he in fact uh, managed to influence uh, the entire trial and was influencing the trial to an extent that the two uh, bureaucrats who was at that point of time under the scanner of the enforcement directorate managed to get bail and the judge himself uh, was uh, was uh, was managed uh, was influenced, influenced to an extent that he uh, managed to give them bail now this is the claim of the enforcement directorate one has to wait and uh, one has to wait uh, and also one has to wait and see whether Bhupesh uh, Paghel reacts to this and uh, Congress reacts to this. But ED has submitted a, 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 a statement in the Supreme Court and they have said it's a sworn affidavit they have submitted and more, mm -hmm. moreover they have now said that they will, uh, uh, they want uh, that uh, CBI should uh, in fact investigate this case and they have said an independent investigation should be carried out uh, after this uh, uh, allegations have been leveled by them. Okay, so the affidavit does not name the judge, but Bhavtosh also goes on to uh, say in the affidavit that uh, from the state's report on the scam, some of the paragraphs are also removed at the behest of Toteja as well as Shukla. And this was to protect the interest of the prime accused in the case. So, uh, destruction of evidence and also being in touch with the judge uh, to get a favorable outcome. Yes, sir. That is uh, that is one of the allegations that have been leveled by the enforcement directorate. As far as the PDS scam is concerned, ED had taken cognizance of an empire that was filed by the Chhattisgarh government, uh, Chhattisgarh police, and after that, uh, they started investigating this case. Uh, to and other bureaucrats were under the scanner of the enforcement directorate. Uh, once they started investigating this case, ED uh, filed uh, earlier also ED had filed an affidavit, but this is for the first time that ED's affidavit is now uh, has now become public. But uh, what is very serious uh, in this case is the fact that ED has for the first time said on record that uh, the trial in this case was being influenced after then Educate General tried to influence the entire trial. Now ED is now claiming that the CBI, uh, that an independent proof should be carried out by the CBI, that they believe that the trial in this case is being affected, uh, affected frankly because uh, the Educate General was in direct touch, uh, touch with the judge. They have not named the judge, but uh, sources have said that the entire trial is being vitiated, probably because of the fact that uh, Advocate General was, uh, was in direct touch with the judges of the trial court as well as the higher judiciary. Okay, all right, Bhavtosh, thank you for joining us with those details. So the Enforcement Directorate has told the Supreme Court that Anil Kumar Tateja as well as Alok Shukla the two senior bureaucrats who are accused in Chhattisgarh's uh, PDS scam were in touch with the High Court judge, remember, who had granted bail to Shukla. So this was in October 2019. The then Advocate uh, General had been licensing between the two and the judge is what the Enforcement Directorate has said. The affidavit does not name the judge in question, but uh, several details of WhatsApp chats have been mentioned in the affidavit. And it goes on to say there was an attempt to uh, destroy evidence in the case, the ED saying that the two bureaucrats uh, were tampering with evidence.